by far the more um, advantageous side of dodgeball because of the nets that block the balls. They stop them instead of ricocheting back. So Townsend will have the advantage because the balls that the opponent is throwing will stop and their balls will hit the wall and ricochet back to them. So this is definitely Townsend's half, even though they are already up 2-0 over Bowling Green State University. My name is Ben Subject. I'm running solo right now, casting, because Alex has gone to get water. This has been a long day for us, too. I promise you that. It's an exhausting experience as far as our voice goes. But, hey, I'm talking about a game I love. Can't get any better than that. It's a long day, but, hey, I'm here with you still. So Townsend up 2-0 is going to start off. We're going to see a very aggressive half, I'm thinking, again. Um, I was talking to a few of the Townsend players at that half, ooh, and uh, they are definitely going to keep the aggression up. Um, they also wanted uh, some shout-outs, um, but hey, I, I can't do that. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm using their, their, their nicknames. I don't know who they are. Number 13 on Townsend over there was, was saying, hey, say hello to my mother. So his name is Mr. Brown. That's what he has on his back. I don't know. Maybe he's Charlie Brown, but he's all the way there. I can't zoom in anymore, but I got off to the side. He's already out, but... He wanted to say hello to his mother, so why not? Why not throw that in there for him? Now we have Bowling Green State University doing a nice little push off to the right here, and you really want to you want to secure these corners, the corner that is over here, and obviously the one over here, because then you can control not only those two corners but the middle. So you'll see a lot of people go and push up from the sides. So you'll see here's another push. The, uh, Townsend is going to push up off to the left, and then that maintains the entire court for them. It cuts off any angle. So once again, we have a we have a push off to the right for Bowling Green State University, and we have a fake shot over here. This guy's going to rotate. Oh, he's going to hold the middle, which is very dangerous to hold in the middle. I think that's Mr. Shaw. He was casting earlier today. Seemed like a really nice guy, knowledgeable at the game. He's their captain or one of them. Did a really good job commentating. The, I think it was the Grand Valley's first game of the day. Ooh, number five, almost getting caught with a cross. So the problem is, if you're in one of these corners, you can only look one way. You can either look down the center where you are, you're facing them, but you also have this corner to worry about. So this group right here not only is watching in front of them this group of, uh, of balls, which they're throwing, so they're, they have to watch this. But the problem is, if you're watching them, that group over here has a chance to do a cross. So you've got to be really, really careful um, as far as when, you throw, when you're throwing. So, thankfully, Alex Heichelbeck's coming back, so I don't have to man the camera and the microphone at the exact same time. So we have a nice little, uh, we have, like, a little fortification up here. And they're going to stay up there as long as they possibly can. Because every time they throw, every time this team throws from the backcourt, it's just not as bad. Alex, you got some water for us? I really appreciate that. All right, I'm, which one do you want? Do you want that? All right. There we go. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm uh, this is yours. Oh, that's mine? Yes. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. Now your turn on cannon. No rest for the wicked, right? Nope, none whatsoever. Okay, um, so going into this round, Townsend up two. Still a very aggressive BGSU. And I like that. I, I do too. Uh, I did notice though they ran forward, but I didn't see any throws. Generally what you're going to see is often in these corners, these two sides, the left side and the right side, you're going to have two players with the ball almost always, and that's, that's, that's ideal. So you have two players with the ball. One is going to throw and the other one is going, to, is going to block for them as they back off. And there's usually, like, you get your best blockers to have one ball at all time and then you rotate through your best arms to have the other ball. So once again, we have a contingency over here. One's going to throw and one is going to block. So here's this guy. There's wow. a block. Unfortunately, if you get attacked from two different sides, you're just not going to be able to handle it. So, good first block, but can't handle three balls at once. So yeah, that was a very good job. And, you know, that turned what would have been the two of them getting absolutely wiped out into only one of them going, but it took them four or five balls to get that one guy out. So, that's what I meant about being aggressively defensive, doing what you need to, to if they're going to take you out, they're going to pay for it. A little. Woo. 
And see, one of the things that is so frustrating about watching WKU is they don't do what we're seeing. This is a very, like, these two teams are on, I gotta be honest, on a different level as far as, uh, as coordination because you're seeing a lot of uh, you're seeing actual blockers who are dedicated to pump faking, making the other team think they're going to throw and then not. And you're seeing both teams do that, and it it, it goes it shows like a, some really fun games to see that kind of play rather than the passive one person throw at a time that WKU is using right now. I wholeheartedly agree. Uh, it, oddly enough, it looks like Townsend's actually playing kind of the defensive here. Which I'm not actually, I believe they have one more game today, so that could be part of it. Yeah, I, I, not quite as aggressive, Townsend. Number uh, well, seven. I mean, yeah, the reason for that is look at the ball advantage that BGSU has right now. Yeah, and they're using it to good effect. Look at the middle of Townsend. They're just sitting there waiting for a ball. They're waiting for the catch. Number 11, Mr. Shaw, is definitely slowing this pace down on purpose. So they're all waiting. They're working on catching. That's this little contingency right here. They're just waiting for a ball to be thrown at them. Oh, wow, that was beautiful. The reaction time that required. It was like right next to the floor. Another A half second off, they would have not gotten a catch and it would have been a kill on the other team. Look, look, look at how well organized that Townsend back line is. Everyone making themselves nice and small. They have, and that quick push back, that is gorgeous. Tech. This is what I remember. This is what I remember dodgeball looking like when we played. This more aggressive game style where people are aggressive on offense, but they're equally as aggressive on defense. Heck, it makes for us to be able to talk about more things too. Yeah, also good. <laughs> but you'll notice even like in that situation where BGSU has the ball advantage, everyone is back on that back Townsend line. In, an, in, in a sense, Bowling Green University or Bowling BGSU is kind of almost on the defense in a way because Every single person on Townsend's team is ready to make a catch. And we saw that right there with that amazing grab for that team catch. Oh, this is just a fun game. You're seeing number 13, Mr. Brown, who is just trying. You can't block both sides. Mr. Brown, that's the bald eagle. I, oh, is that the bald eagle? The Crap. Bald eagle. He was talking to me earlier, and then where's Brown? I don't know. I lost I track. Know. I don't know. Mr. Shaw, right there, the captain of this team, is just slowing the pace so much. So Saving them. If Ooh. You'll, if, wow. What a throw if by number 15. you'll notice, Bowling Green State, or BGSU's counter pushes, they're throwing from further back and further back and further back. And we've got kind of a slow push up here. And then, oh god, look at the speed. I'm not sure what we're calling here. I don't, I don't know what that hand signal means. I don't know. Is this the first time I've seen hand signals used here? Big Miss Maloney, not one to mess around. Who, who is Maloney? What's, what, he's from um, No Idea. No Idea. <laughs> we, just, we just have their last Open name. Open foot, but. insert mouth. Gen generally speaking, though, these the, the referees are former players that have really that have really been uh, that just love the game and then have, have agreed to come back for right, looks, for that game. All right, looks like we're about to start back up. That gives us a quick second for another word from our sponsor, Ben Subject. Go, go! Why you keep doing this to me? I don't know. It's fun. Uh, okay, here we go. We're back into the game. I gotta think of some over the night. Yeah, you gotta got, be got ready for tomorrow. To um, okay. 13. Okay, BGSU really running that clock. Quick push there. But again, he had to know nothing was going to come of that. He was throwing at a group of three BGSU players, all of whom had balls. So that was, you know, pretty. but look look at that defensive screen. And that, that is what makes Townsend a good team. 
they are putting BGSU on the defense. BGSU is afraid to make a throw. And they should be. They should be. Look, everyone is right where they need to be. I, I am very, very impressed by Townsend. This is not a team, I think I've only seen them play a couple of times before. I'm very impressed. I need to look. I'm not sure if they have played any of the tournament favorites yet today. No, no, I don't think so either. I mean, Bowling Green State University is not a chump team, that's for sure, but I, yeah, you can see that from the I, I get the now. distinct feeling that Townsend is not going at full steam right now. No. No, I mean, I've only seen a couple really strong throws, but that means that they have the potential for a lot more. See, oh my gosh, the just the teamwork and the communication from Townsend is stunning. And the thing, uh, they just know where to be. Every player on their team knows where to be at the right time. It's not this confusion, like, mess that you can sometimes see with young teams. Look at the bald eagle there. Oh my gosh! Look, <laughs> look at how quickly they're on him as well. I got wow. your bag! Wow, that is gorgeous. BGSU, uh, some of the players, we didn't see some of the players are looking at each other and kind of shrugging. They don't know what to do about this. And what? Oh. Townsend with a shot clock violation? The, okay, this is the first time I've seen a mistake from Townsend as far as their, their side clock goes. They're not calling, they're, the people off to the side that are out, because there's nobody out are helping them. So the players in the middle don't know that the shot clock was going off, but the, the ref is counting it down. He's, that's his job, so uh, they're I not guess hearing. We were so caught up by that catch, but I did realize there hadn't been a throw. Oh, another catch wow. by number five. Barely landing inside. What can man do such against such aggression? Such reckless dodgeball. <laughs> They're afraid to throw. And there wow. it is. See, BGSU, they are, they, they know that they are completely powerless here. Oh, got one, got a kill. No, but see, in that situation, did you see who he was in front of? The the was it number 35, I believe, that just went out yeah. for Townsend. And look, he is in front of one of their power players. He knows that his job is to protect that man. That's what he did. And there's a two-player swing, so that's A-OK. -okay. And, and he's, he's back right in. back in the game. Yeah, number 35 um, is back. I think his name is Wheezy or Weezer. He does kind of look like young Wheezy. The bald eagle takes out the girl because she dropped the ball. Yep, there she goes. She's out. Now, you know, I've watched, I, I've watched a, a, quite a few games today. And I've watched even, you know, I watched Grand Valley play, who's our reigning champion. This is the some of the best dodgeball fundamentally that I've seen in a long, 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 long time. They look stronger this than bowling. This is very game. impressive. Beat, yeah. Ah, 35 weeks it goes down. This is better than Grand Valley. I've, this is better play than Grand Valley did earlier today. And again, and I know you've said it. I'll say it again. BGSU is not a pushover team, but I mean, you know, I'm I'm watching them on the sidelines. They're they're kind of looking at each other and kind of shrugging. They don't really, it's, it's not that their players are, uh, I think it was off the ground, I believe. Yeah, okay, good call there. You hurt his arm, I hope not. I hope it, you don't have to go down again, I can't. It's hard to broadcast alone. It is. Still I'll, uh, in, still in. All right, he's looking okay. All right, so BGSU down to the 10-second shot clock. Uh, 15.30 left to play. It's uh, a long point, 10-minute point. It is. It, well, it's a little more than 10 minutes because we had the carryover time from ah. last match. It's about a 12-minute point. Wow. Wow. Townsend University, I am absolutely blown away. I am so excited to see how they do tomorrow. Um, obviously, the, the seeding today is based on how the teams have done outside of this national tournament. So it's completely based on the, the games that they've played up until now. Um, wow, wow, I'm blown away. Round. Do what? The, this round no, round not, not the seating desk. So we're gonna see desk. So we're gonna 